In this episode, the installation of the VHF antenna on the masthead took place. While we had the mast on the side, we inspected the sheaves and found that 30 years of wear and tear have made its mark. Going to try and install the um, the uh, antenna wire. Uh, I have to remove this top plate on top of the mast. So for that, I got to remove the uh, the uh, mast top plate. So I got to figure out how I'm going to install the antenna along with the uh, wind vane. Wind vane goes right over here. I think it's probably about this, projects out this much. Oh, it needs a little piece of metal coming out this way. If I secure it to this, to this uh, plate over here, it may be okay, right? So we have uh, this uh, uh, group of wires over here. And these are actually feeding the uh, the uh, top mast uh, headlight and the steaming light and the deck light. There is a piece of conduit, a tube. Attached to the mast, on the inside of the mast somehow, I don't know how. And I'm going to try and uh, see if I can use a fish line, an electrical fish line, to go through that, through that to feed the antenna line. I'm going to try and feed it through the cable, through the tubing. All the way up. So I don't want to put too much stuff to bulk it up and make it give it too much resistance. I need a piece of um, flat plate. If it extends out a little bit better. Four or five inches long, not even. And I just attach it over here. This will be well clear of it. And we have an antenna with that. I'm going to mount my antenna off center off of this uh, bracket over here that, that supports the, uh, the sheaths for the for for raising and the, for raising the mainsail and the also the uh, headsail. I'm going to secure it. There's already a couple of holes over here made. I bought a piece of aluminum uh, 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 plate, uh, steel plate. I'm going to cut it down just a little bit. All I need is a little bit of space. I'm just going to cut it down maybe about here or so. And I'm going to make a, drill a couple of holes, put a couple of uh, bolts over here, and uh, drill the hole for the antenna support. I just cut it right about here. To mark where the hole is, we, we need to create a, a template and we couldn't find any piece of paper. The only piece of paper we could find was this McDonald's coupon. <laughs>
look good. You can see right through, so this is good. This is aluminum, this is aluminum. I'm sure they got some stainless steel bolts. And uh I'm like a machinist. Just marking the center point so I can uh, drill the hole for the antenna. This is where I'm going to install it. Okay, it's pretty good. And we have our plate there. And we can see it's nowhere near it. We got a good three inches clearance over here. So we're good. I like this. So now it fits in. My problem now is making sure I can get this in. This might be a better way. This way. Put the nut on top. There's a locking nut, so it should not have. This way, there's nothing interfering with the uh, with this uh, halyard over here. Another one up front. Nice and sturdy. Okay, so I removed the top plate, unscrewed it off, got my cable, it's in a cable that I ran through, that I uh, pierced through last week. I'm going to make a hole somewhere in here. I flipped my, uh, my mask around. Um, when I was trying to put this, when I was looking at the screws over here, when I was bolting in the uh, plate for the antenna, I noticed that the sheave over here, this sheave at the front of the, um, the front of the mast, um, it's actually got a little crack on it. I'm concerned about that. This is my halyard, and it's going to be a, might end up being a problem. So I'm going to take out my, I'm going to inspect my sheaves now. I've never done it before, but I'm going to do it now. And um, all I, have, I think all I have to do is just take out this this uh, bolt uh, bolt and nut, and that. Uh, take out this top section which got all the sheaves on it. See if we can do this. So this is coming out now. See I don't want I don't want to damage my light. I don't want to change it out this year. No. Got another line that's fine. Oh, okay no I can go this way. There we go. Mm. Okay, that's what I'm looking at right now. This sheave over here. Okay, she replaced this sheave. And that will change the line over to the other one. That's got a little bit of... And just a little bit of it there, but... I mean, this line only goes up once and that's it. So I don't think it's that big of a deal, but... I wonder if I should change it over to this one for the time being. So as long as I'm here... You have to feed it all the way down. So there's some sort of debris in here from bugs and whatever. The cocoons, making cocoon, cocoons in here. Just clean it out. And oh, well, this is weird because this is supposed to be all connected, so this is all broken. Eh? This separating blade. Oh, it's uh, been broken. Yeah, it looks so I'm not even sure we can get this there. But. So this is one of the sheaves that's this is the sheaves that's been in use. And this was like this. And this is the other one. This one has got a crack. It's great to have like a 
a stress crack over here down the middle. I don't know if it can be seen there, but yeah, I can feel it with my nail. So I was thinking of changing it over to this one. It is for the jib, so you know it'll only be used once when you rehearse it up. So this is the sheave, uh, two sheaves, two uh, sheaves over here for the. Um, this is actually for the halyard for the head sail. Um, like I, we talked about before, the one that was actually being used is already cracked over here. But this one also has a crack in the middle, you can see right there. Um, I just went to one of the uh, chandeliers over here, the only one, see if they had some, but they don't have exactly the same size, so I would have a problem. A little bit bigger. The width and everything is okay, just that the uh, the hole for the uh, for the pin is a, a little bit bigger, so it would be wobbling in here, it would be very good, unless I put in some sort of a, a bushing inside it, which they don't have either, so anyways. Um, I'm just going to put it back in. Uh, like, like this sheave over here is only goes up at the beginning of the season. The, 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 this holly only goes up at the beginning of the season once we launch the boat. And then it stays up there, so we're not going to use it again. Uh, the only thing I'm concerned about is actually this plate, which broke off. It disconnected from, uh, I guess these two, this thing should have been like this, as you can see, kind of. Uh, I'm more concerned about these lines on this side, because this is my uh, main uh, main halyard and my topping lift. So these get a little bit more use, and uh, if at any time they are slack, it's possible that when you try and tighten up the other one, oops, there goes a pin, it can override, and then you end up with this all stuck. So what I might try and do is maybe, let's see if I can flip this, this plate, uh, the dividing plate, so that's more, I got more beef on this side like this. That way, the... Um, these two these two halyards uh, will have less chance less chance of override. Uh, it's already been eaten out, I presume, by the by the halyards. I'm not too sure, or quite possibly. So, anyways, I'll put a little bit of grease on it and uh, see what happens. Hopefully, nothing nothing's going to break on it, and uh, we'll have a a season of sailing. Boat uh, ownership is not easy. Um, Every time we try to do something, there's an obstacle in front of us. We're just trying to put up the antenna. If I just put up the antenna, if I hadn't looked in here to take a look at the sheaves, see what the state of it was, I would not have, uh, we wouldn't have this problem. Well, maybe we would have bigger problems. At least I know what the problem is right now. I mean, we never really had a problem, but at least we know we have a condition over here that we have to address, and hopefully we'll be able to uh, address it. So I'm just cleaning out any sort of debris that has accumulated along the years, just scraping it off, picking up some of the plastic too by the looks of it. Just using the back side of a exacto knife. Uh, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna switch switch out the sheet that was not being used and use that as for for my um, uh, jib halyard. So the plan now is to just put a little bit of grease in between these um, the sheaves and the plate, so that they are able to um, to uh, uh, glide along more freely. Like it's just a little bit. I don't even have to spread it because okay, this is all. In. This is the hard part. Okay, lines in place again. First sheave plate.
There it is. Put the cotter pin in. There we go. Should be secured in there. So now we have two lines. Now I gotta get the other one. Okay, so we fin we finished installing the uh, the reinstalling the sheaths. Sheaths, shivs. Yeah, it seems to move like it's a little bit smoother. I mean, clean it up, put a little bit of grease. Uh, obviously, this there is broken, so I hope this is not going to give me any problems. I think it's better this way than the way it was before. It's got more protection for these for these two lines not to override one another. Uh, and this this is the uh, the uh, jib halyard, so it only goes up it's once, the and that's Genoa it. Genoa halyard. Jib yeah. Genoa. Yeah. Uh, potato potato. <laughs> So, okay, I'm ready to put this in, but before I put it in, I think I'm going to drill over here for the location of the, uh, of the antenna cable. The antenna cable. That's the, the main reason why we were here in the first place. Yeah. <laughs> okay. How's it go? You go in for a bag of milk and you come out with a brand new TV, kind of a thing. Um, so, I'm just going to drill a hole over here. It doesn't really matter where. I just want to make sure it's down below where the... Uh, sheaves are so the sheaves come up to about here more or less this is the the, the opening for the for the uh the, the shaft that holds the top plate in place i'm just going to come out somewhere over here i guess and it'll give me enough to then come out and go to over here okay i don't want to go in too deep so this is, it bores out a little bit wider, uh, uh, wider increments. Be sure that it's not gonna, it's not gonna hit anything. Should be wide enough for the, uh, More than big enough for this cable. As you can see, it goes in nicely. I am just going to sand a little bit on the inside. Smooth now, no blood. Okay, so now we're finally getting to the antenna cable after ooh, three and a half hours on site. Uh, I'm just feeding it out, taking out all the slack. Try and minimize the amount of uh, free cable you have. Okay, so I did it good. I actually did put it in the right spot. Okay, so that's good. Put the top back on. Beginning to go through, not very well. This is on.
putting a little bit of grease on each over here, no? This is a toughie. Anyways, uh, I was having a hard time putting the uh, the uh, glass, the, the plastic surround on the light. Um, I had all the, all the grooves lined up with the notches. It was, wasn't going in. I wouldn't wasn't able to get it in. Lucil has a smart idea. Oh, maybe there's something broken inside there. I said, no, can't be anything broken in there. Typical male. You're crazy. Uh, anyways, I took a look, a closer look, and there was something in there. So I picked out this little piece of plastic from this that would come loose, I guess. Anyways, it's in there now. I don't think it's gonna fall off. Okay, that took us maybe what 10 minutes, 10 15 minutes, minutes 15 of minutes. fiddling around with it. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Finally, we're done, and now we're ready to inst you know just That's work the on the antenna. antenna. Just work so, on the antenna cable now. Yep. Never done this before. This is going to be um, interesting. Got to get the instruction manual again. Go over that that thing again. Glow Max antenna. A bit more, the way it looks. See if I can feed this through. Looks like it'll go okay. Okay. Take this out, put this in here. Now I gotta cut off eight millimeters, five sixteen. Okay, I need sixteen millimeters from there to there, and I need six millimeters down here at the end. I need six millimeters at the top. Got that over here on the table. There's my six millimeters. Now I gotta pull back all the braiding. Pull back the braiding. And I believe that this is it. So now I have to attach. Let's go. One thing, gotta bend this here down like that. So the only thing I don't know is, maybe I don't need this spring washer. Um, if I take out the spring washer, I might be able to thread this onto the base of the antenna over here. May have something over there to catch on to. Right now, I don't have anything. It doesn't catch on. So I don't know if I, maybe I don't need this in this situation. Um, I put a question out there, so we'll see what happens. I got a lot of cable left over over here. I'm going to try and maintain this cable to go all the way down inside the cabin uh, inside the boat and go all the way back to the radio 
without having any connections because every time you put a connection you're going to lose signal strength. Um, right now I'm just going to feed it through where, where we already have an opening on the mast for the wiring for the lights on the mast. I'm just going to feed it through here and just keep it over here. Don't have to make a hole down here at this end. That's it for now. Join us for episode 4 as we fix a leaky vent hatch and prepare for the mass stepping. Thank you for watching. Much appreciated. Until the next time, fair winds to all.